Good morning, good morning, good night. Eagle MMA family, these are UFC fighters as the TikTok Riz Party. Right now, for all you old heads, all you boomers going, duh, what the TikTok Riz Party? Look, sh shut up. Let me explain it. Uh, the TikTok Riz Party was a bunch of uh, like high schoolers went to some girls, sweet 16, and uh, a man by the name of TikTok Tom, which I'm not going to make any allegations against him, but if your name is TikTok Tom and you're going to girls' sweet 16 parties, um, there might be something there. But he went to the Sweet 16, uh, recorded uh, all the kids, like, jumping around, dancing, having fun to some popular music, and posted on TikTok. One of the comments said, though, this is the TikTok Riz Party, as there was a poster about one or two years ago that was called the TikTok Riz Party. TikTok Riz Party for, like, an actual TikTok Riz Party, uh, and it just went viral. There's a bunch of lore for it now and everything, so let's get right into it. So let's start with the top of the hierarchy, the group leader, Blue Tie Kid. This is obviously going to be Ilya Toburia, right? Absolute alpha, main character, energy. Uh, he literally said, I will, I am the UFC featherweight champion when his fight with Volk got announced. Like two months before they even fought, he said, I'm the champion. He changed his Instagram bio to show that he beat Alexander Volkanovsky and he was already the champion. That is group leader energy. That is alpha main character energy. Right? Even his style, just walking forward and mogging you. Ilya Tapuri is obviously the group leader. But every group leader needs a sidekick, the second in command. We move down the hierarchy to the second in command, right? This one is obviously going to be Marab Devalishvili, right? Another obvious one, right? The muscle, the physical specimen, right? The bodyguard. If Ilya Tapuria, the group leader, needs anyone, you know, he gets Marab on the job, right? Marab, very, very loyal, right? He literally... Literally gave up two title shots, at least two title shots, because Aljamain Sterling was the champion, and Aljamain, Aljamain Sterling is like his bestie, so he, he's so loyal, he will put his career in jeopardy just to be the, the right-hand man. Right, and could be, like, could be the champion, could be the group leader if he wanted. He has all the physical capabilities, but his mindset is more so just, you know, the second command, uh, the muscle, right, the bodyguard. But let's move all the way down, 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 down the hierarchy, down to Outcast Kid or Group Leader Clone, right? I've heard him go by both, Outcast Kid or Group Leader Clone. Um, This is going to be Leon Edwards. Right, self-explanatory, right? Everyone pushes around Outcast Kid, right? Everyone pushes around Outcast Kid. Everyone pushes around Leon Edwards, dude. No, he will never... He wants to be the group leader so bad, right? Group leader clone. He wants to be the group leader so bad, but he's just never... He just does not even have the close to the amount of aura that you need to be the group leader. And like I said, he gets pushed around by everybody, even... Our next one, right, Mustache Kid, Bilal Muhammad, right? Leon Edwards gets pushed around by Mustache Kid, Bilal Muhammad, right? B fucking Outcast Kid gets pushed around by Bilal Muhammad, right? Bilal Muhammad, Mustache Kid, obviously, uh, pretty self-explanatory again. Nobody set, there, nobody gives a fuck about Mustache Kid. There's, like, no lore about him. There's no lore about Mustache Kid. It's He's kind of just there. Bilal Muhammad is, you know, kind of just there. Right, but since we're on the topic of welterweights, let's go to our next place on the hierarchy. Uh, this one's going to be Tomato Boy or Tomato Face, right? Either one, Tomato Boy or Tomato Face. I've heard him uh, be called both names, but Tomato Boy, Tomato Face is going to be Wonder Boy, right? Now, you might be asking, why is this Wonder Boy? Tomato Face in the lore is scheming, right? Tomato Face in the lore is kind of in that mid-tier rankings of the hierarchy um, of the group and is scheming with a uh, uh, girl group leader, group leader girl, um, to become the group leader. But here's the thing with uh, Tomato Boy, Tomato Face, is he will, even if he became the group leader, he just does not have any aura. He has no, like, inherent energy about him. Wonder Boy, always scheming, right? Oh, Michelle Pajera missed weight. Uh, you paid him to miss weight by, like, two fucking pounds. So you could, um, 
not fight him because you know you'd lose. That's why he was all pissy about his show money because he thought he could scam. He thought he could literally scam the UFC uh, by paying me show up ahead a certain amount of money and he still gets his show money. Uh, scheme doesn't work, buddy. And he will never be the greatest, right? Even he's had multiple championship opportunities. And like wait, he could have every he has all the physical capabilities. He has everything to become a UFC champion. Tomato Boy has everything to become the group leader. But it's just his mindset. His mindset will just not allow him to become the UFC champion, will not allow him to, be, to become the group leader, right? Oh no, Tyron Woodley's so good. No, you're better than me, Tyron. You're better than me. That's why you lose to him. Right? But let's move on to the one you all care about. The last member on the hierarchy in the TikTok Riz party. The one you all care about. The man, the myth, the legend, Turkish Quandale Dingle. Turkish Quandale Dingle is Brian La Aguila Ortega. Now you have oh, oh, burn it, da, 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 da. Shut up. Let me explain it. Right, impressing the group leader, impressing Ilya Topuria with swag by having a great comeback submission over Yair Rodriguez, as well as just his immense drip and swag, obviously. But also, Turkish Guandel Dingle, not even trying to become the group leader, but just accidentally getting high up in the hierarchy, accidentally contesting, not even on purpose, contesting the group leader status, Brian Ortega accidentally contesting the championship status and genuinely could become the group leader, could become the UFC champion. But hey, that's going to have to wrap it up for this video. Um, This is the best content ever. I have the best content on MMA YouTube. I have the most thought-provoking content on MMA YouTube. I also have memberships. If you are a non-paying member of this channel, I have memberships available. I have my Hatchlings tier, $2 a month. Somewhat of a trial of an Eagle MMA membership, $2. Pocket change, spare, spare change. You get multiple videos a week. You get multiple streams a week. You get updates from Eagle MMA. The Blothers tier, $5 a month. You get more videos, you get more streams, and you get the bi-monthly podcast, which is the Eagle's Nest, right? I just had um, my first one with Gnome Chad, right? If you know Gnome Chad, all you Eagle MMA endurers all know Gnome Chad, OG. Um, schizo, right? It was around 39 minutes, right? A 39-minute podcast. Every single member that watched it, I have around 30 members. They all said, this is one of the best videos you've ever put out. So if you want to watch that, pay the $5 tier to become a blother. But... Enough of the self promo, right? Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the video. Turn on notifications as well. Please turn on notifications. If you don't turn on notifications, my channel will die because YouTube does not want you to watch my content. It's too risky. But thank you all for watching. Eagle MMA out. Hey. Young Lean? Are you Young Lean? What? Are you Young Lean? Mm. No, I'm Barry Dillon. Mm. Okay.